Oh my god, yo, yo, I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. Yo, Rapbeard is here to save PvP, guys. Oh my god, time to look at the patch notes. I'm so hyped. Jeez, dude. Okay, okay, so I can't I can't believe this. Oh my god. So I, I had I had such a day, okay? So I got the death to max level, as you guys know on the channel here. I got the death to max level. I did some PvP. Uh, we were like 14 and 1 or something like that on the death, so it's pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I see on Twitter, there's the patch notes, uh, that are dropped, which we're gonna review in this video. Okay, maintenance tonight includes Pirate 101. Okay, alright, so let's click on the link here, see what we got. Guilds, players can no longer respond on mob with dungeon recall in the guild house. Don't know how to do that, okay. Character collision and texture issues in the guild house were fixed. Fix some display errors on their various guild crafters. The battle gate portal is still disabled. We'll let you know when it's back. Unfortunate for the raiders. Various fixes to address the infamous rounding error that caused combats to display as defeated on a player's client when they are still alive. Please let us know if the problem persists. Awesome. Good news. I'm tired of, you know, being bipolar, getting excited that, that I won a game where I killed an opponent and then they come back to life a minute later. And it's just like, oh my god, I won! And then it's like, what? <laughs> Bug fixes here as well. Uh, prevented players from teleporting to the final fight area of the Unforgiven Dead Gauntlet. Okay, good bug fix there. False Girl of Fortune uh, should now give the Motherbone Bloom card. Okay. Uh, any level gear once again provides small stat bonuses. Uh, don't know what that means. If you guys do know, let me know in the comments below. Issue where players sat incorrectly on the park bench, okay. Uh, various character gear animation fixes, okay. Now, we get into the meat and potatoes here of the video. The, the PvP changes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see, troll spellment. Temporarily set to no PvP. Yeah, that's right, boy. No more troll for two racks, a game, ten turns of tempo, and a god minion. No! Done. See you later. Balance the card better. Make it three pips. Okay, moving on. Players have offered a variety of suggestions. Everything from increasing the pip cost to make it less useful. We will reassess the value of minions, especially hit and minion utility spells, and return to the troll at a future time with a more whatever that is solution. Okay, good. Very good. Uh, I'm happy to see this. Great job, Artie, Rapbeard, Cam, uh, Stormbringer. That's all the people I know, I think. Uh, if I forgot your name, sorry, but great job, guys. The Catalan decks are now prohibited in lower level leagues. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool, because I heard that's that's a big problem in the lower levels, I heard. So, that's uh, pretty cool. Shadow rating. Now, I hope this is them fixing the shadow rating bug that's been around since Lemuria that players have noticed. We've made some adjustments to the shadow gauge settings that should both increase the value of having the highest shadow rating and reduce some of the RNG in the shadow gauge fill. Okay, that sounds good. It should be noted that by far, the greatest impact on who will receive the first shadow pip is and always has been which player gets the first action versus which player generates the first fill on their shadow gauge. Uh, Typically, yeah, but with how it was before, I could be going, uh, sometimes I'd go first, have less shads, and get the shad because of the RNG. Or I'd go second with more shads, and I'd still get outshadded. So, I just, uh, more consistency, I, I hopefully that's what this is meaning, uh, as more consistency in terms of the shad rating. We are exploring some longer term code solutions to minimize these first turn effect in order to deliver a more significant Shadow Pip advantage to the player with a high Shadow rating. Great news to hear, great news. Because the problem is you would give up stats, like block rating, damage, Pip conserve, right? To have higher Shadow rating, but then you would get outshadded by two rounds and multiple occasions when you're running a Shadow rating stat when you have worse stats in the first place. So, uh, great news, great job Kings All. D-Lance, we have made some adjustments to the cast rates of D-Lance and PvP to reduce its ability to create a dramatic gains tempo. Uh, later turns, PvE cast rates have been altered. Okay, so the cast rates... What does that mean? Do they nerf the cast rate? Like, it's less common now? Uh, is it not, like, 35? Is it, like, a 15 blade? 
Uh, I don't really know. Is that everything we have? I think that is everything. So, honestly, in my opinion, I would say this is a 9 out of 10 update, probably. Close as we'll get to a 10 out of 10 update, in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Uh, troll being gone, great, right? Shadow rating actually working, hopefully. Great news. d -Lance being nerfed, great news. Um, I heard the Cathalon as well is, like, it ruins lower level play. I don't do much to the level, but uh, I've heard a lot of complaints about that, so that's cool to see uh, that, you know, King Style is, you know, pushing for these changes, and it, it almost feels like a live live service model game now, which I can really appreciate. Um, again, like, hats off to the devs. Uh, you know, they worked on the raids, guilds, novice, and they're cranking out these updates that are honestly more frequent than I feel like they've ever been before, so... Hats off to the devs. Uh, great job, guys. Keep up the good work. And yeah, as always, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say in the comments below about these changes. Again, 9 out of 10 update for me, in my opinion. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for being here. And as always, take care, guys.